Hello, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. My name is Mike Allen. I'm a small business market manager here at Cisco. Live record. Allows users to record conversations and store it in their user mailbox as a new message. In this demo today, I'm going to show you how to use Live Record. Uh, we're just going to use it on an intercom to intercom call or intercom to intercom path. But the feature is still the same if you were going to be using it for an outside or, um, let's say, uh, a, an outside call on a local plain old telephone service line or a, a PRI. So, what happens first is we have to have or initiate a phone call. Now, by initiating a phone call, I'm just going to press one of the keys here in my display. I'm going to call my phone name Pam Beasley here. Now once Pam Beasley has been connected you can see in the display of my phone I've got another option. My option that's just changed or just popped up is the live record soft key. Now in order for this to happen a couple things your system administrator has to set up. One, you've got to set up an ePhone DN to basically forward all calls when dialed to voicemail. So mine on this system is ePhone DN 297, which is pretty much staying with the default of most of the Cisco, uh, Cisco documentation you'll find at www.cisco.com forward slash go forward slash small biz support. The other thing that I've done here with mine is I've applied an ePhone template with the live record button to all of my user phones. Now it doesn't matter which direction or with, with uh, which buttons are first. You know, sometimes you might actually have to hit the more key to get to the live record button. In this case, since I use the live record feature quite a bit, I've decided to put it as my first button when I'm on a connected call. So simply, all I've got to do is press the live record button. You'll notice that it says to conference, and it actually then says connected in the display. So what has happened now is I'm actually recording a call into this user, my uh, user here is, names, is, uh, is named Michael Scott. You'll also notice the beep just went off. I've got the beep turned on to be able to uh, beep every 30 seconds. Uh, I think by default it comes on every 15 seconds. But every 30 seconds there's going to be a beep that goes off to let both parties know that I'm recording the call. Now, I'm also going to show you one more thing. Some, somewhat looked over with live record. If you notice in the display, I still have the more key. I'm going to hit the more key, and I'm also going to hit conference list. What's happened here, as you can see, 299, Pam Beasley, and Michael Scott. I'm listing out the people that are in the conference. Let's say I want to stay on the phone call, but I want to stop the recording. This is a great way, by just removing 299, this is a great way to remove the recording and then keep on with the conversation. Now you'll notice and I wasn't fast enough with the zoom here, as soon as we ended, I mean nanoseconds later, now I've got a message waiting indication on my phone from that live record. So what's happened is basically not only did I record that phone call, but then that phone call was placed as a voicemail into the user's mailbox that pressed live record. So a couple quick applications for this, reception positions. This is a great feature for people if, if they're tired of taking messages, uh, the reception position maybe, uh, for example, they want to offer an extra value or extra level of customer service for certain employees or certain users of the system where they're not sending people to voicemail. They can actually hit the live record button, record that conversation, and then go into their voicemail and forward that to the party that needed that message. And you could think there's lots of other applications here. I mean, pretty much any time that you'd like to record a call. Now the one thing I will, can, uh, will tell you to be cautious about, there are certain rules based on uh, different states here in the United States, different states, different uh, liabilities for um, who presses record and if the other party knows. So you'd want to make sure that you do follow those and uh, not violate any state laws by recording phone calls. Well, until next time, my name is Mike Allen, and again, thanks a lot for joining our podcast. Good selling.